and welcome back to another installment of our I Speak Electric series. Whether you're in the middle of summer or winter, wherever you're watching this, stick around for details on heat pumps and how they can maximize your range. I'm Martin Lee, welcome to the channel. And if you like what we do here, make sure you subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss a show. So if you've been following the channel for a while, you would have seen our video about how the weather affects the range of your EV. It was a broad brush look at efficiency in EVs, but today we're taking a closer look at one of the possible solutions. Now asking, what's a heat pump? Well, basically a heat pump is a fridge in reverse. And that technology has been around a very long time. Your refrigerator, wherever it's in your kitchen, that equipment, sometimes you can see it exposed around the back of the fridge. It takes heat from the unit and releases it into the room. In terms of our EVs, we often want to take heat from outside the vehicle and bring it into the cabin so that we stay comfortable, nice and toasty warm. But we don't have to just take that heat from outside the car. We can capture heat that would be wasted in other parts of the vehicle, like the motor the electronics, the battery. So what happens when a heat pump is working? Well, we'll get a little bit technical, don't mind doing a, a mini deep dive into this. The refrigerant absorbs heat from a source. Like, okay, let's just pick the example of a warm battery. It changes from a liquid to a gas. That gas then gets compressed, which in turn heats it even more. This heat is then transferred into the cabin of your vehicle if you ask it to heat you up. And as the heat is transferred into the cabin, it cools down and condenses back into a liquid in a secondary heat exchange. Once enough heat is extracted, the liquid passes through an expansion valve to relieve the pressure. From there, it goes back through the same process again. So we've seen how heat pumps work, but what's the point? Well, we've already touched on the increased efficiency of heat pumps. This means they use less energy and that is key for an EV. Two main benefits. The first is, well, saving us money. The biggest benefit though is the added range. To give the efficiency of heat pumps a bit of context, a heat pump is about 300% efficient. This means that for every three kilowatt hours of heat, it only uses one kilowatt hour of energy from the battery. That's a much more efficient way of operating than a conventional cabin heater that's just blowing hot air. So, do you get a heat pump on every EV? No, not a chance, actually. Each manufacturer has a different approach. And it's not always about price. I drive a very affordable Renault Zoe, and that has one. Tesla, for example, rolled out a heat pump in the Model Y. Since then, they've started to introduce it to their other cars in the lineup. It's a welcome addition. And actually, when you're spending over 100K on a car, you'd think it should come as a standard. Oh, it's such a valuable addition if you're in cold climates. Take another example of the upcoming Audi Q4 e-tron, the entry-level model. Where's the heat pump? Well, but for now, it's on the options list. So if you are buying an EV, it's worth checking out the detailed specifications to see if a heat pump is included. And you might not always need one. It's worth having a quick look about the different demands on an EV's heating oh, and cooling as well. For example, so I'm in Southern England. We have a pretty mild climate. Yeah, okay, we get some days when the temperature is over 30 degrees C and we get a few days when the snow will fall, but largely it's very mild. The demands on the EVs that we drive here are pretty minimal. But if you talk to someone in hey, the Nordic countries, if you're in Norway, Northeast US maybe, now look, they need a lot of heating for much of the year. They might have to dig their car out of several feet of snow and drive to work in minus 20 degrees. So you, do you need a heat pump? Well, look, it's impossible for me to say, as we all have different demands, but if you live in a very cold place, then if it's an option on your EV, you'll want to get one to save energy. The best thing to do is have a think about the kind of driving you do and the climate you live in. Do you have a driveway where your car can preheat in the mornings whilst it's still plugged into the house? Do you do short hops in the car where you never really use more than 10% of your battery anyway? Well, that's it from us today on the topic of heat pumps, but now it's your turn, and I love reading the comments below. Let us know what you think. Let's keep the conversation going. And thank you so much for watching once again today. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up icon. It tells us to make more shows just like this 
and we'll see you on the next one.